In this screencast, I'm going to give an example of uh, using Genoma, a tool that I wrote for uh, making uh, working with Genome projects simpler. I wrote Genoma whilst uh, working on my own Genome project, and I decided to uh, open source it and release it because I thought it might be useful for other people. And uh, I assume that you already have Genoma installed to follow this um, screencast. Uh, you can just test that by typing Genoma in. And I'm going to start off by creating an example Genoma project. And that's using the init command. And that's created a project. So, and so I'll cd to that project. And this is created a project containing a gem file and an assembly directory. And uh, the assembly directory contains three files. And I'll explain what each of these files do. First of all, though, um, I type genoma help to list the commands I have available to use with genoma. In it, I just used to create uh, a new genoma project. And man shows the man pages for specific uh, plugins and commands. Uh, so an example of using the man command, I'll do genoma man in it, and that gives the uh, man page for the in it command I just ran and it has, um, uh, has listings for the files there. So to start off with, if I uh, show the assembly directory, this contains um, uh, three files and the sequence file uh, contains your uh, assembled contigs and scaffolds that I assume you've previously assembled using a genome assembler. And this is just a fast A format. And if I do the next file is the scaffold file, which specifies how the contigs are organized in the genome assembly. So here it's just a single um, contig, uh, and I've specified it here. And this file is written in uh, YAML, uh, yet another markup language. It's a standard uh, file format and uh, has, um, if you go to this website here, uh, you can find information about writing these files. So to start, um, to start using Genoma, I need to install the plugin because at the moment I only have um, two commands and none of those uh, are uh, useful for uh, working with the genome scaffold so far. And so that's where the uh, gem file comes in. So if I edit this gem file, this specifies um, what com genome commands I um, have installed in this project. So I'm going to open, uh, add another one, and that is genome plugin view. And all commands are in this format where it's the gem followed by the name of the plugin in quotes. And if you wish to, you can use this format here to specify what version of a plugin is installed. But if I leave off this part here, then the latest version is installed. So I just add that to the gem file. Then if I do bundle update, that will add it, that will install all the required plugins. And so you can see here, I have Genoma and then uh, Genoma plugin view is uh, installed now. So now if I run the Genoma help command again, I see I have an extra command, the Genoma view command, which is now available, which provides different views of the scaffold. And uh, every command I've uh, written uh, has a man page. So if I do Genoma man view, his is the man page for generating um, different file format views of the scaffold and the scaffold annotations. And it's a standard man page with the uh, file options and descriptions of how the f uh, options should be specified. And I'm going to, uh, to create a fast A view of my scaffold first, and that's using the fast A command. And again, genoma man view fast A. Uh, it gives the man page for generating fast A views of the scaffold. Oh, with an example there. And so it's relatively straightforward to use. Uh, assuming that I have um, my 
context and sequences in the sequence FNA file and I specify my scaffold in the scaffold YAML file then this command will work genoma view oops I should have specified the type what genoma view fast a and that just gives me a fast a view of the scaffold which is not particularly interesting but say for example I wanted to add more context to my scaffold So let me just copy this. I'll call that. I'll just and I'll just uh, copy this and put that in there, contig2. So here I've just copied um, and added an extra contig in there, contig2. And if I run that command again, genome review fast A, uh, again, it just generates the FASTA format of the scaffold of combining those, good, combining those two contexts. And if I go back to the man page for view FASTA, so it should be man view FASTA. You can see there's some options. Um, uh, I can, for example, um, specify um, contexts or strain uh, or um, organism and the genoma man view has more options here so identifier here's the list of the options so for example genoma view fast a identifier equals my genome that just adds the uh, fast a header and if i uh, use the more complex uh, example from the man page here you can see it's um, the uh, fast day and you have all of the this fast day metadata added to the top so that's uh, an example of using that and now say I wish to add some annotations to the scaffold so I want to add um, some GFF3 format annotations to the assembly annotations file. So this is an empty file here. I've got some uh, example ones I created earlier. Yeah, paste those in here. So I've just added two annotations. If you're not familiar with GFF three format it's the source sequence uh, the type of annotation the start position the end position the strand the id and then the product and so i've got a glutamine glutamine synthesis on contig1 and a molybdopter in binding protein on contig2 and these are um, just examples because obviously you're not going to see very many um, three nucleotide long proteins and if I quit out of there so there's the plugin for the annotations uh, GFF3 view as you might expect is genoma man view GFF and so it just gives you GFF3 format annotations so assuming that I've added that all incorrectly I can now do genoma mm, man so genoma view GFF and that will generate the annotations but this time mapped onto the scaffold so if I can if I can split this so if I go to um, genome project and I so these are the original annotations so they all start in the first uh, position of that contig and here they're instead mapped onto their position in the genome. So if I, for example, I'm working on my project and I realize that um, I haven't correctly placed the context and I want to edit that. Say, for example, I believe there's a gap between th these uh, two contexts, which I can add here, which in the context is specified as an unresolved region. 
and I say it's a five base pair unresolved region between contig one and contig two, I can add that to the scaffold and then run the genoma view GFF command again. And you can see that the positions of these are correspondingly updated. So that means if you can, you can edit and change the position of your contigs in your scaffold and your annotations that are mapped onto those contigs would be updated accordingly. And the genome review GFF command has a few uh, extra options. So reset locus numbering. So here now the ID uh, is reset. So the first annotation is named one and the second annotation is named two. Uh, and again, if I change the scaffold, so say for example I switch around contig1 and contig2, and I run that command again, again it starts 1 and 2, but this time the um, annotations have been switched around. Uh, and the coordinates of the um, proteins, the genes on the contigs have been updated accordingly. Uh, I can also, for example, you may often, when you're submitting a genome, you need, need to add a prefix to the um, so your gene IDs. So if I need to add a prefix like this, again, the IDs are updated accordingly uh, with this prefix. And so that's just uh, a toy uh, example, but it shows how um, working how our genoma and uh, how I used it in my own projects to simplify working with uh, contigs and genome scaffolds and the corresponding annotations.